What you guys got another video windows 11 24h2 now installs 36 inbox apps so the built-in windows apps just got a significant update through the media releases of the latest versions of windows 11 and windows server when you install windows 11 24h2 or windows server 2025 after june 2025 the system will have the newer versions of apps out of the box you won't need to immediately update from the Microsoft Store. The result is a more secure, a compliant and user-friendly experience according to Microsoft from day one of the deployment. So the key features and improvements Microsoft have said they've made is that all the new media, i.e. your ISO files that you're downloading from Microsoft, will have all of these Microsoft Store apps pre-installed instead of the release to manufacturer, which is your RTM versions. This includes updated ISO images, virtual hard disks and VHDs, and also Azure marketing images as well. This is for enhanced security and compliance. By refreshing all of the installed apps to newer versions, Microsoft is addressing a security vulnerability uh, present in the older apps that are released in these versions of ISOs previously. So all of the old ISOs that you used to download from Microsoft and you go to deploy these images, these might contain outdated apps with known common vulnerabilities and exposures to CVEs. And this is why Microsoft have rolled out uh, updates for all of these apps and are now pre-installed when you install Windows on your computer. So no more will you have to go off and go to the Microsoft Store and update all the Microsoft Store to make sure all these apps are updated. These will be pre-installed on the system as you install Windows. So with this quick update, what this is going to do after June 2025, these apps will be kept up to date, reducing vulnerabilities to Windows. This will also help your organization stay compliant with security requirements, example, meeting the cybersecurity uh, baseline mandates. In short, the operating system now delivers a more secure baseline configuration out of the box. Now, a lot of people may say that this is just bloat, and of course, most people will remove a lot of this, if not all of this stuff, because they will never use it. So again, you're just going to have to still go into the installed app section once you install Windows, or if you use a sort of auto unattended XML files, it will remove all of this anyway. Whatever method you use, you will be able to still uninstall all of these apps after the fact. It just means that there's just going to be a few more apps that you're going to have to remove, and they are going to be full installed apps on the system. I still don't know why Microsoft just don't offer a LTSC version which is for everyone which allows people to use that version and activate it on their computer which will remove all of this bloat if they don't want to use a version with say Copilot, Recall and all the other nonsense on it. You can check the Microsoft website out. This is basically the Inbox Microsoft Store Apps Update with media, Windows Media. You'll be able to see right here a good long list of newer Inbox apps included into the new uh, Windows 11 version 24H2 media. So now it comes with 36 updated built-in apps and the list is here. I'll leave a link for this in the video description. It's quite a big long list as you would expect because there's 36 apps that have now been added. A lot of people are probably not going to be happy that they're going to have to go through and uninstall all of this stuff. But at the end of the day, Microsoft have upgraded and updated their ISO to make sure that it's fully compliant with all of the security measures that are needed to be met. So now if you do want to remove all of this before it's installed, remember to install Windows with the English world setting like I've showed you in the past and it will remove a lot of this stuff during the installation process. Or you can use an auto unattended XML file inside the ISO directory and it will basically remove a lot of this stuff uh, during the installation process and make all your tweaks if you want to do it that way. There's other methods like once you get to the desktop, if you don't want to use any of those, there's plenty of programs out there that you can use that will allow you to quickly uninstall all of this bloat from the PC if you're not interested in any of this sort of stuff. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. 
Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link's in the video description. Bye for now.